Hi, this is Sammy W, and we're going to be taking a look, a look at the following problem. A small jet can fly 1,072 miles in four hours with a tailwind, and only 848 miles in four hours with a headwind. A tailwind is pushing it from behind. A headwind is hitting it in the nose and slowing it down. We want to find the speed of the jet in still air, and we want to find the wind speed. So we want to find what the actual speed of the plane is without um, the air and find the um, actual speed of the air. So um, this is what I have here. I have 1072 miles per hour that per four hours, that gives me 268 miles per hour plus the wind. So that's with the wind. Same thing here, 848 divided by four, 212 miles per hour. That's and minus the wind. So I say minus the wind because the wind is going against it. So let's take a look at it. That means if I take 200 and the 268 that I um, derived and I subtract the wind, it should be the same as the 212 mile, 12 miles per hour if I add back the wind. So I want to subtract the wind that was added here. I want to add back the wind that was um, taken off here. So it looks like, I mean, it takes a little extra thought because it seems kind of opposite, but that's what we need to do. When you think about it, that's what works. So we have 268. I just move this over, move that over. This goes over, this W goes over as a positive. This 212 comes over as a negative. 268 minus 212 is 56 equals 2w, divide by 2, the 2's cancel, 56 divided by 2 is 28, 28 equals w, so let's check it, I'll take my 268 derived here, um, we know this, that's giving me the, um, the speed of the wind, w, and 268 minus 28 gives me 240 miles per hour, that's the plane's airspeed going, um, and coming back, uh, 212 plus 28 gives me 240. So that's the airspeed um, when we um, allow for the wind. So we know it, we know obviously it went um, into the wind, it came right back to wherever um, it made a round trip. So hopefully that was helpful to you. I'm always here to help. Thank you very much.